Hey everyone, welcome back to the Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. This is Tuesday, February 15th, if I am correct. And, um, I just need to turn on the analog button, sorry about that. Okay, so anyway, here we are trying to find out where the heck that darn pal key went again. Well, I... We got the moss, so come on. Did it fill in the drainage ditch around here? Oh crap, this water is poisonous. Russian, yay! Let's get out of here before we die. What can we do? Use. Oh, what? These are still frozen. Melt it before you eat. So what? It's not letting it thaw out. Come on, man. That ain't cool. That's not cute. Hmm. Normal goggles, perhaps? Sorry. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Mind what? detector? Yes. The mind detector works just like a metal detector. The position of the card key should show up on your radar screen. Okay. So, um... Mind detector, you say? Gosh, you're really desperate. But then again, the fate of the world is riding on this pal key. Not seen it anywhere. Okay, let's try and go. Hey, is this it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so how do I get down there? Wait, what? I'm seeing another blinking dot on the screen. So, that darn little, what, rat might have eaten the key? When's a bomb go? Oh, okay. Oh, right, I'm supposed to equip metal detector. Well, sorry. So that's what the moving dot must have been. Ah, here it comes. Wait, gotta shoot it. No, I, and since the rats are small, gotta shoot it on ground level. Only way I can check ground level is, yes, with this sniper rifle. There it is. Oh, that was dirty. Hey, there we go. That's cool. That's cool. Alright. Oh, yes. Now, um, let's try leaving these rations out for a bit. Hopefully they'll get unfrozen. Uh, yeah, four minutes into the video. Not bad, not bad at all, yeah. Oh, man. Don't know why, but I can't wait until the Netflix subscription or, like, Netflix free trial will end. Hey, rations are on thought. That's quick, and the Netflix free trial thing will not be quick. On the other hand, though, because I've still got, like, until the 20th, although since today I'll be uploading this will be the 15th, it should be five days. Although, I don't really like Netflix because I'm not much of a movie watcher, even though I come from a family of movie watchers. Like, my sister can pretty much be described as movie princess because... Ever heard of something called The Thief Lord? Yeah, a really cheesy movie off of, based off of a cheesy book. Oh crap, ground level. Anyway, my sister, well... 
when she first rented that movie, she basically locked herself in the parents' bedroom for a weekend and watched it seven times within that weekend, five times on Saturday and two times on Sunday. I kid you not, that's what actually happened. I don't know why someone would do such a thing for such a movie, let alone any movie in general, but that's my sister. Well then again, at least I should be glad she doesn't play video games because, oh boy, I wouldn't be able to be a report now, will I? But you know, I feel kinda disconcerted about that. Because then I have no other siblings, well, other than my brother, who will share the same passion of gaming with me. And if my sister did really pick up the whole video gaming thing, then I bet she would really get into games like Final Fantasy, especially Final Fantasy X. I think she might like that. I have no clue. Ah, uh, but you know what? Get in there. Okay, so... Computer number one. Oh, wrong one. Oh, sorry. Is that the wrong one? Yeah. Sorry I got too close to it. Freaking perfectionist. Here we go. Yeah, just pull out the card key whenever you're in front of a corresponding laptop. Not just have it out and just walk up to any laptop. Since Alaska is naturally cold on its own, especially in the wonder. What the heck, Snake? Where's the guard at? Guard, guard. Is there a guard I have to kill? Ah, there he is. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm a sniper. I can wait. Waiting is my job. Now, this definitely feels different from the sniper rifle SVD used commonly in like Metal Gear Solid 3 and 4 and online. God, I've been playing too much of. Oh crap! Crap on my Well, I got into another alert phase. Hip tie I A. In the kid. Should have just had this SOCOM bullet out. Well, I don't know what the heck I'm doing in this episode, so. Get down the ladder. Really slowly. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying to fill in some stuff just for an episode. I'm trying to get at least, or at most, or however. Not at least or at most, but just specifically. Okay. You know what? How should I say this? I want four episodes of Metal Gear Solid in for the week I'm going to be uploading this. And then after that, the two episodes of Kingdom Hearts with the two optional boss fights, which are going to be a pain. I don't know if I'll be able to fit within those time constraints or schedule constraints or whatever you may want to call it, because I might get so far through this in such a low amount of time, because this is practically the end. And I don't want to split off, like, right in the middle of a boss fight and keep you hanging for about a week or so. Because that would be cute. So what would happen if I have to do, like, three episodes of Metal Gear Solid through the week? Should I just do another one of Kingdom Hearts? Maybe. But then again, I'm also thinking that maybe by the end of this week to upload the video of my grading scale for the whole review of things, like I was trying to say. Yeah, I'd possibly use that just to kill some time. I have no idea. I do this other stuff all on fly, man. On fly. Nikita missiles. Thank you, fly. Yeah, Campbell? What is it? Snake, we're not paying you to be a scarecrow, you know. Wait, you're paying me? 
Alright, we're nearly there. We're nearly outside. Thank goodness I have the elevator to set up as is. Don't have to take out any guards now, because that would be messy. Wait a minute, I'm going back outside here. Wouldn't that involve going back to the first disc? Answer? No. Why? Because on the second disc, all Shadow Moses, well, from what I know, is still included. It's just the whole cutscenes and boss fights that are new. Okay, so here we are in the Great Outdoors. Uh, I haven't been in this room yet. Oh, come on, seriously? Security cameras abound. Find more chaff for you. Why not? The Stinger Stinger Stinger. Stinger Wiener. Okay, so now, freeze the pal key. So, what do I have to do in order to freeze it? Just stay out here in the cold. Might as well tell a story in the meantime. Or just basically talk in general. Or, better yet, kick a puppy. A wolf puppy. There we go, yeah. How you like running around, huh? What, you're still running? Dang, you never really run out of energy, do you? Oh crap, I'm sending blood. Damn it, gonna have to clean that off my shoes. Clean it off, clean it off, clean it off. Why is it that I'm making footprints and you're not? That's still normal. Running around, running around, running around circles with you. Oh yeah, I like that. Look, I'm going faster than you, I'm beating you, I'm beating you, I'm beating you. Ha, uh, lapped ya. Lapped ya again. Oh, what? Now you're intimidated. Well, sorry. No, seriously, though, what are you doing? Hmm. Ah, still normal. Dang. This is taking forever. Just like how it's taking forever with me trying to get through White Knight Chronicles so that I can play Final Fantasy XIII. I like White Knight Chronicles. Oh, you're back to run. Anyway, I like to play it in general, but I feel like as if I have to rush through it so that I can just go Final Fantasy 13 and try debating on it against other people with actual knowledge of the game itself. And yet, White Knight Chronicles is fun. It's not like a chore. Mm, what should I call it then? But I'm not going to be able to get through White Knight Chronicles at all if I keep on playing Metal Gear Online. Metal Gear Online itself is fun. I like getting headshots against noobs that are five levels above me, even though I'm level zero. <laughs> Still normal. Dang, man. When are you ever going to freeze over? Why must you pause like so? You ran out of energy? Or something in the ground. Get a move on. Can you try dodging me? Huh? 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 I'm such a terrible person. Punching puppies. But here's the thing he's never gonna die. He's invincible. What's that boy? Timmy's down a well? There's no wells around here. Liar. No, I wonder if I should just leave this in my pocket and it might speed up the process or just leave it unequipped. I have no idea. Okay, this is taking forever. I need to see how to properly do this. Next, you've got to cool the card key. I know Where that. should I do that? This is Alaska. Go outside. It's cold everywhere. I know that. That key is actually an IC card. Its connector pins and main body are made of a shape memory alloy. 
It's designed so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. Okay, that doesn't answer my question. Should I leave it equipped or unequipped? Okay, recording's up to 21 minutes already. Gosh darn. Oh my god, I feel like talking into the mic right now about incoherent subjects that have no relation to this game whatsoever, but thing is though, I'm running on a bit of a time constraint. This thing ain't gonna freeze over anytime soon. Uh oh, waiting sucks. Well, my rations are frozen, but I didn't have them equipped. Which means I should leave the PAL key unequipped. Finally, finally, finally the pound key is frozen. I had to have it out all this time, and now the recording's nearly half an hour. Curses. Huh. Okay, so, um... You know what, I'll just go past the security guards and then I'll... There are security cameras. Throw out the chaff. Don't get shot at, don't get shot at, please, please, don't get shot at. That was a good time for me to save my game, okay. Nope. Not you. Snake, it looks like you changed the card keys. Okay, melee. Save my game. What can I do for you, Snake? Uh, save my game. Yeah, right here. Blast furnace. In China, they say, the snake, knowing itself, strikes swiftly. It means that if you have confidence that what you are doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. I don't know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but, snake, believe in yourself. Alright, good bit of advice, I then I can get a move on with this Let's Play, so I'll be seeing you guys next time on Let's Play Melgasaw. Goodbye.